birthdays, it's Kimmy, and I'm gonna be answering all your questions. Do you have any hidden talents? I actually have one hidden talent, and I can do this. <laughs> it's so random, but I can do it. If you could find one thing about your future, what would it be? I would love to know that that I'll just be okay because this world is so crazy and your life can change in a split second. So just to know that everything is gonna be okay. If you could have your dream vacation, where would you go and what would you do? I would go to Thailand and go to the elephant sanctuaries just to take care of elephants and interact with them. I think that would be such a cool experience. If you could meet any three people, dead or alive, who would you want to meet? I think I would definitely want to meet the queen because she would have the most interesting stories. I would love to meet Mr. Beast just to have a conversation about YouTube. And I would love to meet Kris Jenner again. I actually did meet Kris Jenner this one time because I went to California to lifeguard at a sleepaway camp and someone hosted us who lived in the hidden hills of Calabasas and she was so nice and she took us horseback riding just around the streets in the hidden hills of Calabasas. And there was one point where we were horseback riding in the middle of the street and we saw you know, a woman with like big shades and we're like, oh my gosh, is that Kim Kardashian? And then I said to my friend, no, like that's Kris Jenner while we were like on a horse. So I said, hey, Kris Jenner, like we love you, everything like that. And she was the sweetest person ever. We had a little conversation. I didn't grab a picture or anything like that, but it did happen and it was so cool. If you had to eat one meal for the rest of your life, what would you choose? I think I would choose sushi, but definitely with like a tub of spicy mayo. I can never eat sushi without eating spicy mayo with it. What advice would you give to your past self? Well, I feel like I was really lost in the past and I didn't know what to do in life and everything like that. So just to know to have patience and you know, in life you're always figuring it out. I still don't have things figured out, but it's a process and you just gotta go with the flow. What advice would you give for someone who wants to be a social media creator? If you are serious about becoming a social media creator, I would say get good at script writing. That is the most important thing. Get great at filming. Get really good at editing. You know, it takes many years to learn how to edit really good videos. So just keep editing like everything you can and just to keep at it, keep posting every single day and slowly like you'll find your style. It took me like two years to really like find my style that I truly, truly love. So you're always evolving. I really think my style, you know, will continue to change like as I grow as a person. So you're not restricted to one thing, but you just have to keep making awesome content and make what you love. What is the most embarrassing moment? The most embarrassing moment for me was probably back in high school where it was a trend that people would have like thin eyebrows. And so I went home one day and I plucked my eyebrows and it was so thin. It was like a string of like on my face. And then the next week, thick eyebrows came in as a trend and my eyebrows were absolutely horrific. I didn't have any. My grad photos are all like basically without eyebrows. It wasn't a pretty picture, let me tell you. High school was rough. What is something most people who follow you don't know about you? So I used to make a lot of videos for school and I used to be behind the camera a lot and everything like that, filming like, I don't know, like variety shows, talent shows, like school grad like videos and stuff like that. And I always was the one making the video and not in front of it until I got the confidence now to be in front of the camera. So that's something a little like fun fact that I always been creating videos since I was 12 and now I'm here. Okay, my biggest pet peeve is when someone touches their eye. I cannot look. So if you have contacts and you're like touching your eye, I, I can't look at that. That's like nails on a chalkboard for me. What is your favorite video that you ever posted? Okay, this video is not posted yet. It's coming soon as like a long video. But basically, let me show you why it's my favorite video. It's because I actually made this and it took me like eight hours to make and I'm not a handyman whatsoever. I can never put like an Ikea furniture together. And the fact that I made this and it works, well, I'm hoping it doesn't break. So let's give it a spin. 
cool. So yeah, what's your goal for where you'll be in three years from today? In three years from today, I really hope to have all my card games released out into the public for like everyone to love and play. All my card games, I really want them to support um, educational charities to really, you know, really help people like get the education they deserve for and really help the world in that sense and in that way. I can't wait to release the games to you guys and actually make an impact in the world by giving underprivileged people an education, an education that they deserve and an education that everyone should get. So yeah. Thank you, Famous Birthdays, for having me. I hope I answered all your questions. Bye, guys. Love you.